Hi everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I am bringing you another diamond painting. Yes, I know, this is the third out of the fourth diamond paintings videos. You guys are probably very sick of them, and I am sorry, I just got in this diamond painting binge and ended up buying four different diamond paintings. My mother also bought me two more, so it's great. By the way, can you hear my cat purring? He's on my lap. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? I don't know. I know you guys can't see my face. I just decided to do a regular voiceover with no face camera for this video. And on top of that, we have people in the next unit next to my brother's shop doing construction work. So they are very loud and you'd probably also hear them in my video. So I'm just sitting at my house in my closet recording this voiceover. And you may be wondering why not record a video voiceover at home? Well, with three dogs and two nephews, it's kind of hard because I do use the sun as my source of lighting for my videos and as well as with the nephews and the dogs it can get very loud so it would be kind of the same issue as I have at work with the construction that's going on. I may go on to just recording the regular voiceovers for now so that I can get a video out for you guys on time and of course I still want to make my videos interesting so I'm going to try to do that through a voice over and not my face. That sounded creepy. I did not intend to make it sound creepy. So going on to the diamond painting, I wanted to keep this video short because like I said, I bet you guys are tired of watching these videos, but I still enjoy making them. I enjoy recording the videos and editing it. It's kind of funny how they manufacture these because these diamond paintings are cheaper than the Christmas diamond paintings I did back in December. Since I got all four diamond paintings for a really low price, the quality isn't as good. I mean, they even cut it crooked. It's kind of funny and they do add text right onto the diamond painting itself, which is hard to read. And oh my gosh, my cat is like acting weird. I have to bring my cat in here into my closet because if I end up not bringing in him in with me, he ends up going crazy. <laughs> He's a very clingy cat. But that's okay. I love when animals are very clingy to you. I mean, they show their love towards you, which is great. <laughs> but anyways, going back to my topic, the diamond painting and the hard-to-read text. Well, the more expensive ones my mother bought only came with one diamond painting. I actually had instructions on another sheet of paper, which makes it easier to read. And I did mention that in one of my other diamond painting videos that I've noticed is the more the instructions are on a separate piece of paper while the cheaper ones also have it on the diamond painting itself. I will also have the links to my other diamond paintings down below as well as a playlist at the end of the video. And I knew this firsthand that the quality wouldn't be as good with the four diamond paintings, but I still really like the outcome of all of them. I will be framing them into picture frames, but not as of right now. I'm actually planning on moving soon, so I do need to save money for that, not picture frames. But I will be posting pictures of it on my social media pages, which I do have a link to in the bio down below. I try to post every week on there and sometimes it's hard but I will be sure to post those on there. I think Twitter for me is the hardest to post on. Instagram is a little bit easier. I don't know why Twitter is hard for me to post on. I mean it kind of is similar to Instagram but not really. I just I don't know I don't like posting on Twitter. Some people are the complete opposite where they hate using Instagram but love using Twitter. I'm, I'm an Instagram person which is kind Kind of strange like the look on my cat's face right now i wish i had my phone to take a picture of him and how i am recording it but and if you are a starting artist the best way to get your art out there i know this is kind of going off topic with the diamond painting but i've talked about the diamond painting for every single one of my videos of a diamond painting video that is so many words in one sentence <laughs> social media is a great way to get your art out there i've noticed i mean i've grown my instagram and a bit of my twitter just by posting pictures so that is one way to get your art out there and also facebook i haven't really focused on facebook all too much which i probably should it's just a little bit hard for me <laughs> i don't know why it just is even getting your 
myself into artist groups would really help out and I'll make sure to post those once I move and get the picture frames and get it all set up. We will see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, there's really not much for me to say for this diamond painting because I've said what I've had to say in all my diamond painting videos. I mean, you can listen to my cat purring. <laughs> I mean, at least we got a little bit of a background noise. It's just mainly my cat. That's fine. I just, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this video and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening whenever you are watching this. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and I'm so happy that I'm able to try and post on a weekly basis again and I did get caught up on all my video making plans as you say because of work. I didn't have work. I was I had time to record videos and edit them. So thankfully I'm back on track. Hopefully it stays that way. Probably won't, but I will always try. But thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video.